now. Okay, can you see my screen still? Yes. Good, all right. Hi everybody, um, this is Jenkins Advocacy and Outreach SIG. Today is May 19th and on the agenda, I have GSOC update, she Code Africa update, CDCon, um, brief blurb about DevOps world and the next Jenkins online meetup. Anything else that we should add? Uh, nope, nothing to add to the agenda. Great. All righty. Um, so GSOC update, uh, project announced to orgs is today in a couple of hours. So we're very excited about that. Accepted projects will be announced publicly tomorrow at 11 a.m. Pacific time. Um, as org admins are quite busy, thank you Jean-Marc and Chris for driving the efforts for the preparations for the upcoming milestones. Um, we, what we're planning to do is welcome the new accepted contributors and then um, talk about having a meeting to, uh, to go over the bonding period what needs to be covered, et cetera. Um, the goal is to make life easy for everybody and to make sure that we check off all the boxes that needs to be covered. Um, and also to share with them that we're gonna be around and available to help in any ways possible. Anything else you'd like to add, Jean-Marc? Uh, no, I'm, I'm preparing a mail that I'd like to discuss with uh, the group here and others. I'd like to reach out to uh, the candidates that submitted a proposal uh, so that they um, don't abandon and give them some recommendations how to get prepared for a more successful try for another GSOC um, and some uh, recommendations. I'm, I'm, uh, it's nearly done, but I want to have uh, to verify that the tone is correct, but I think it's worthwhile to, um, to uh, extend the hand to them that they don't fall in the, uh, the bitter cold and darkness of not being selected because they, they made important work. I, and I think that's a great pattern, John Mark. It was certainly positive in years past when Oleg as an org admin would send a, a specific note to each person who can, well, each, what I'd call each viable proposal that was received uh, I don't think we no. have to respond to the spammers, but but the viable ones, yeah. it's good for okay. us to to answer uh, them and say, hey, thank you. This this would solve uh, a doubt I had, uh, but I, I will I will do that effort. I, I discussed it earlier during the office hour with uh, Bruno and Chris. Uh, I can I can add to that a personal note. Great. Uh, here, I'm, I'm still preparing the communication. I, I expect to send that on Monday okay. uh, so that we can, can rest that. Uh, thank you for your advice, Mark. Okay. Um, for She Code Africa, Mark, I uh, know that the, uh, the program is ending uh, as we are approaching end of May. Um, so what I have here is it, you're in the, it's in the final reporting phase. And I also saw a couple of reportings um, on discourse by the contributors. Right. Yeah. So we've got, uh, we just had another session with the pipeline help project, or we had a session with the pipeline help project and reminded those two contributors, they need to submit their final report to community.jenkins.io as well, that it is so much easier to submit a page to community.jenkins.io to modify it, to edit it, than it is to submit a blog post to jenkins.io that we want to encourage them to use community. It fits with what Gavin Mogan has asked for from the governance board. Hey, let's centralize more and more of our communication on community.jenkins.io. 
and it makes it easy for them and very approachable. We had the benefit that one of our earlier submitters, P. Sokafor, um, had done a really good job of writing her report and we can just encourage others, hey, use that as a template. Yeah, I agree. I think I have it here. Did a great job. Yes, and I'm yes, sure that's the, the ease, one. I'm sure the okay. ease of putting this in on this course is much better than a, on the Jenkins.io blog. Yeah. Yeah, she did a wonderful job. Well, and, Very and nice. she, here, here she here she describes some of the real problems, right? She's not she's not hiding the fact that we made mistakes this year again and that there are some mistakes that we should we really can correct there are things that we can do to make the startup easier when she lists her challenges that she faced those are those are things we could avoid in next year's program so i, I think it was a good thing for her very grateful she did it yeah all right, thank you for that. Uh, so for CDCon, we are still, we're, we're, we're making arrangements to go to Austin, Texas um, mm -hmm. in June. And I have swags, I have cable bags, and I've got Jenkins stickers ready to go. Um, so Bruno and I, we will start working on the slide deck for it, uh, Mark, and we'll share it with you and Tim Jacome, uh, just so that we have, everybody's slides content in one place, just so that we can move along smoothly. Um, what else, what else? Yes, and CDF did post the announcement of the, the Contributor Summit on Austin uh, Meetup page as well. Anything there, Bruno or Mark? Not on my side, thank you. Nothing else from me, thanks though. I, I have a point on the previous uh, item, so either I keep it for the end or I just throw it now. Oh, let's talk about it now. Yeah, very quickly. Uh, uh, Mark, uh, as you were leading the effort, or maybe Bruno that helped there, uh, do we plan to do um, some kind of document to get prepared for next year's, some kind of... Uh, uh, um, guidebook or or a checklist for preparation as uh, it currently exists for Google Summer of Code, the, the run book. Oh, so for, for She Code she Africa, is that your question? Yes. yes. Good, good point. Do we yes. plan to do that now yes, that it's I fresh? That's part of the, that's part of the wrap up process. I'll actually schedule, I did it, I did it last year and I'll schedule it again this year. We'll schedule a retrospective session with the participants invite them to join us and then use that to generate something that will go into the Jenkins.io site describing the, the things that we learned and how we'll, we would do things differently next year. And, and typically what it'll be is the page that describes SheCode Africa will include a link to another page that says, here's how we do SheCode Africa contribute thought. Yeah, some kind of a manual if, if uh, another person needs to start it. Right. That, that this person has the recipe to, to start and be successful on, on that. Yeah, maybe we could give links to one of the, uh, to several of the best uh, recordings you made, Mark, and that are on YouTube. You know, the one regarding Git, for example, oh, the way right. to work with GitHub and so on, because I learned a ton of this. things, and I think the ladies learned a ton of things two in these sessions. Well, I'd like and, to and, reuse, oh, yeah, sorry. Go ahead, John Mark, no, no. I'd, I'd like to reuse this kind of material. Uh, there was this morning a question uh, from somebody who was, who was wanting to contribute to Jenkins and was starting uh, very low. So obviously he, he was missing some, some basic skills, no judgment there. But uh, these kind of videos, having them uh, handy uh, and, for these kind of public. And Mark, you also have a list of videos you made with Derek about contributing to open source project, I think, that are really, really relevant and helpful. Yeah. Right. So, so maybe what we want, well, there, I guess there are two parts there, right? One is 
on the She Code Africa page for Jenkins.io, we should probably embed that Git that Git intro video just because it's something that many people who want to be involved in Chico Africa need this skill, right? Yep. We, we, and, and we could embed it there easily. Then we ought to finish the, the contributing to Jenkins tutorial sequence that I've got in a pending pull request right now to Jenkins.io. That, that thing is, well, there's a 27 page Google document that backs it. And we need to just get it all the way so people can use it, right? Right now, it's yeah. it's no value because it's not merged. So yeah, those are both both very good topics. Great suggestions. Um, moving on to DevOps world, the CFP is closing in about six days, May twenty fifth. Uh, we currently have about. 13 submissions under the community track. So we definitely need more. Um, I think the whole um, conference, uh, the whole CFP is, uh, is receiving slightly lower than usual submissions. And I'm thinking it's due to COVID because people aren't sure whether that they're, they can make it in person. So it's making I things a little bit harder. Well, and I haven't submitted my my proposals yet, so shame on me. No worries, you got six days, Mark. We know how you function. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yes, right. Manage personal schedule management by Cliff. Right, I understand. Well, yeah. Uh, stopwatch submitting. Uh, how many yeah, seconds right. left? Shame on shame on me. <laughs> exactly. Um, and then the last item I have is the Jenkins online meetup. So I will, my focus right now is mainly on the next thing that's coming up. So mainly the, the uh, contributor summit, just to make sure that we got everything were aligned and such Google summer of code. And then the Jenkins online meetup that we have there bisecting with Basil and Mark. So I'll reach out and I'll schedule something for us. That's all I have. Excellent. Good. So, and on the, the Basel topic, I haven't discussed that title with him. So he may, absolutely, re he may absolutely reject that topic and say, I'm not a surgeon. We're not going to talk about this. <laughs> okay. Just, uh, but, but by all means, we have the discussion with him to see what works. Okay. Uh, I, I don't know what the word means. So I know what's behind forget, but uh, does it have a meaning in English? I'm going to research that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They, possibly inferred meaning not a direct meaning as any but uh, sectioning Surgic. is sectioning is a surgical technique that that you okay you slice things to see what's in them etc okay i'll 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 look in the dictionary what it what's behind it so it's like anyway, dissecting yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah okay i i i think i see what's what's behind okay i thought it was crossing roads and trying to which is also is the geometric precise definition yeah. of bisect. Absolutely. That is the yeah. precise geometric definition of bisect. Yep. Okay. okay. You can stop the recording. You triggered my curiosity. Curiosity is always.